In this video, I'm going to reveal the exact portfolio strategy that I've used to take hundreds and hundreds of clients from simply viewing my portfolio to sending me a message on Upwork. And ultimately, how this exact strategy has generated me and my clients over $100,000 in the last 12 months alone. Additionally, I'm going to show you exactly how to create a portfolio on Upwork if you don't offer a super visually stimulating service, such as Google Ads, SEO, or accounting. And you've probably never heard of these things because this isn't your typical boring portfolio video. So with that being said, no matter what service you offer, this video is going to show you exactly how to create a portfolio on Upwork and how to take hundreds of clients from simply viewing your portfolio to flooding your DMs with messages. Now, the exact portfolio strategies that you use are going to vary depending on what services you're offering and how visually stimulating they are. However, a good general rule of thumb is that the first section of your Upwork portfolio is going to be one of the most viewed parts of your entire Upwork profile. And so if you have a video testimonial, a client case study, or a client interview, I would highly recommend putting in the first spot of your Upwork portfolio. Now, almost nobody does this on Upwork, and I don't know why. It has worked unbelievably well for me. It's helped me sign dozens of clients on Upwork, and I can't even tell you how many times someone has booked a meeting with me. And one of the first things they say is, Nico, man, I watched that video testimonial from Jeff in the Upwork portfolio section of your profile, and I just feel like I'm super similar to him, and I saw how you helped him, and I'm confident you can help me too. And from there, obviously, it's incredibly easy to make that sale. So if you offer a visually stimulating service on Upwork, the portfolio section is pretty straightforward. And you can either separate the sections by the services you offer, like I did here, or on a project to project basis. So for example, you can see here, I separated them by the service, I have social media management, and then I have Facebook ads, but you can also do it on a project to project basis. So for example, if you offer web design, then your projects are probably gonna be pretty big and you're gonna have lots of pictures in each portfolio section. And so it might make the most sense for you to just separate them by project to project. So each section, in your portfolio would be a separate project that you completed in a separate website, right? And so to actually create your Upwork portfolio, it's pretty straightforward. All you're gonna do is scroll down to the portfolio section and press the little plus button. Then for the title, you're just gonna put in the type of project it is. Now, I would encourage you to avoid the company name in there as I think most times it's just irrelevant and it crowds the space. But obviously, if you work with a very, very well-known company like Netflix or Google, then obviously you should include that in the project title. But for example, if I was doing you know, mobile app development, I might just put in here custom mobile app design, right? You're just going to name the project and what kind of project it is. Then in terms of your role, that's pretty self-explanatory, right? Just put in your role, whether that's web developer, web designer, or project leader, if it's your project. In terms of project description, I would encourage you to use the full 500 or 600 characters. And the reason is when someone clicks on your portfolio, they're going to be able to see this entire project description. And we want to give them some context as to what the project was about, what the client's goals were, what their pain points were, how we help them solve the pain points and achieve their goals. And if done correctly, the project description of your Upwork portfolio can help you rank higher in the search rankings when clients are searching for freelancers and agencies on Upwork. And so how do we do that? Well, to rank higher, we're going to want to pack our project description full of very commonly searched up phrases on Upwork. So for example, if I was putting in a full stack development project into my Upwork portfolio, I might include the keywords such as full stack developer, full stack development. I might include the languages that we coded this project in and the platforms that we use to create this project on right? Because the platforms are going to be commonly searched up on Upwork. So are the languages and so are the words full stack developer and full stack development, right? And so that's how you're going to write uh, your actual project description. And then in terms of skills and deliverables, just type in five, uh, you know, commonly used and very, very relevant skill tags, right? And then you're just going to add in the pictures of your actual project. And you can add in multiple pictures into each portfolio section. And so for example, if you are putting in a project for your website development services, then you could probably take a screenshot or just take a picture of each page on that website. So you might take a couple pictures of the home page and then put them in here. You might take a couple pictures of the about page and so on. And all of those can fit into your Upwork portfolio section. I believe up to 20 pictures are allowed in each section, 
um, as of the date that I'm recording this. And so that's going to be how you're going to create an Upwork portfolio section if you offer a visually stimulating service. Now, if you don't offer a visually stimulating service, such as Google ads, SEO, or accounting, there are two strategies that you can use to have an awesome Upwork portfolio. Now, the first strategy is just going to be to simply film a video speaking directly to the camera about each service you offer. And so this can be simple one to three minute long videos, and you can talk about the service, like what it actually includes, how many years of experience you have offering it to clients, results you've achieved, like any impressive statistics or before and afters. You can even talk about the benefits of this service. Like if clients are often hiring you because they have one particular goal, then talk about that and talk about how you can help them achieve that goal. Or on the other end, if they have consistencies in terms of their pain points, you can talk about those pain points and how you can help them solve those with your service, right? You can even talk about like your process. You know, you like to start with a kickoff call with an intake form with another thing, both of them, right? And overall, these can be simple one to three minute videos speaking about each service you offer. You should film a video, a separate video for each service you offer, and then you can put each video as a separate section into your portfolio on Upwork. And so that's going to be the first way that you can overcome not having a very visually stimulating service on Upwork and still having an awesome portfolio section that builds up a lot of trust with prospects. So that's the first strategy. The second strategy is to use a tool like Loom and just review dashboards, campaigns, or other examples of your work. And so for example, if you run an SEO agency, sure, you could throw up a screenshot of your dashboard into Upwork, but the reality is a lot of people aren't going to know what that screenshot actually means. Whereas if you take this example and you film a two to three minute video using Loom, which is the tool I'm using right now, and that way people can see your face. They can hear you explaining it and giving the context that people need to actually interpret the screenshot. That's going to make a huge difference in terms of how many people actually understand the service that you're offering and the benefits of this service and that project, right? And so that's going to be the second strategy that you can use. And again, you can do this for pretty much any non visually stimulating service. If you're running Google ads, simply pull up one of your campaigns that you're running for a client and film a three minute video, walking people through the campaigns, what the benefits are, what you're doing for those clients, what the results are, and just overall walk them through the process. Because the reality is if you do that compared to just throwing up a screenshot of a dashboard, you're going to give people the context that they need in order to properly interpret what you're actually putting out there, right? They're not going to know how to interpret the screenshot you throw up, but with the video, you're going to give them the context they need to understand how great of a job you're doing. And so that is all I've got for this video. That is how you're going to be able to have an awesome Upwork portfolio, no matter what service you're offering. And so if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe as I'm going to be putting out a ton of content for you guys in the next following couple months. And additionally, if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one to help you sign more clients on Upwork, then feel free to book a meeting with me using the link below.